Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the Unbound Sticky Bars, which is probably one of my favorite features when it comes to any type of landing page builder or even if you're using websites. This is a great way to increase your conversions. Whether you want to just get more clicks, leads, or sales, this is a, a fantastic way of doing it and I'm going to show you how inside Unbound. So as we have here in the Sticky Bar section, when you choose a template, there's going to be a few that you can choose from in terms of the different types of them. You can have list building, there's contests, cross sales, discounts content giveaways, event registrations, and of course, free quotes. Right now, I'm just clicked on all. And if I click on these, you'll see as we go down, they will load and show you kind of what they look like. For me personally, I'm going to look, be looking for one that kind of has just like a click here to, you know, check something out. Let's see what we have here for ebook. Okay, it's actually pretty good. Even though it's for an ebook, this can be utilized for anything. So I'm going to give it a name to say ebook as it has there and then start with this template and test it out. Okay, so first and foremost, we can see what it looks on both desktop and mobile, which is always cool. So once we're editing this around, we can check it out. Uh, this doesn't always have to be a book. You know, for example, if I want to delete this, you know, like discount. I could say like uh, double click here. Grab a discount on Unbounce today and save a bunch of money, you know, something like that. For example, if I was doing my unbounce review, this would be something that I'd wanna put at the top and this would be the call to action. So for here, we can change this, um, get access today. And right here, this is going to be a goal. So for example, let's just do www.google.com. As always, my disclaimer, don't send your traffic to Google. They have plenty of it. Uh, goals, what I would do is just click on this one because that would be a goal anytime someone clicks there, okay? Also, we have the ability to go up and down. Personally, I've always liked doing sticky bars at the top. I don't know if it's just a preference. I have not split tested the difference between having it on the top and bottom, but usually the bottom for me has been reserved for like on websites, especially if there's gonna be like cookie statements or sometimes, you know, if it is on a website, there might be other things going on. So that's why I like the top. Let's go to mobile here. This is what it's going to be looking like. And after all, not bad. Let's click on save and then we can check out the different specifics about when we want it to show up and how often and so on and so forth. All right, so here we need to check out the settings where pretty much where do we want to put this. If it's going to be on another un unbalanced page, it's going to be easy to do. I have another uh, dummy page I created for this specific example. I'm going to copy this URL, come back over here and paste it in. Okay, that looks good. Great. Now we have the trigger. So triggers, when does this show? You know, choose when this appears. Another way of saying that. So immediately you can do when a visitor arrives on the page. I don't like that one as much. I like a little bit of a delay because if, if they're on the page and they see nothing and then like that bar comes down, it's going to be much easier for them to see it. So like two seconds wouldn't be that bad. You can do more, you can do less. There's also the option for when a visitor tries to exit the page, but I like those better for pop-ups in my opinion. Uh, when a visitor scrolls up the page, when they scroll a percentage down the way, this is a great way, say if you're doing like, if you have a landing page with a review or where like the call to action is all the way at the bottom, where if they've read all of that, it's good to kind of match it up with the percentage of where that will be down the page. Cause then, you know, like they're already warmed up towards what they might want to purchase or take action on. So that's something to consider. Also, there is the element where if they click on something, it also brings it up, but I'm not too much of a fan of that. If they're going to click, you might as well make them click on something that does what you want them to do, like uh, download something or make a purchase and so on and so forth. So you can show once per visitor, show on every visit, show only on specific amount of visits or don't show on first visit, show on all return visits. I don't mind showing on every visit. That's going to be fine. Uh, no advanced targeting. And then of course we have the code. So all we need to do is take this code. I'm going to copy this right here. Okay. Then I'm going to go to my landing page that I have. This is just a test one just to show you. So we're going to go to JavaScripts. I'm going to rename this sticky. Okay. For placement, we want to put head and I'm going to paste that in there. I'm going to hit done. Make sure I save that. I'm also going to go back and oh, we'll just republish it right here. Perfect. And of course, let me go back to where we had our sticky bar. We want to make sure that we publish this as well. We do have that embed code. We said installed publish now. So all I need to do is go back to my original landing page. So that's good to go. And then we can test that out and it should work. So give it a couple seconds. 
And there you have it. Get access today. So uh, a really cool thing to do. I love utilizing these. Like I said, uh, even before I, I knew about landing pages, like these are popular on websites as well. It's just such an easy extra way to increase your conversions, your clicks, your leads, whatever it's going to be. Uh, and the more targeted you are with these, the better it's going to be. For example, if you do have this on the landing page, it's pretty simple. Whatever your landing page is going to be about, have a some, something special right here. For example, once again, if I was doing a review about Unbalanced on a landing page, I would have like the review there, maybe the video and so on and so forth. And this would be a, a, an extra little way to kind of get more clicks. Oh, I forgot to tell you, if you get started with a free trial, they do have a discount. It's like, oh, I didn't know about that. That might've been lower on the page, but it's a great way to broadcast a special deal or a discount or a bonus or a free ebook, whatever it's going to be. So that's the power of sticky bars. Very easy to set up. Thank you so much for watching this. If you don't have uh, Unbalanced, I We'll put a link down below, hey, as I talked about with a discount. Uh, and that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.